I'm Jim. And I'm Todd. We're the Performance Pinewood Guys. Uh, today we're going to be talking about cutting weight pockets in your car. And we've got uh, a couple of different uh, props here today. We've got the standard BSA block. This block comes at about 3 ounces. The entire kit, the block, the wheels, and the axles is about 4 ounces. On race day, you're going to want your car as close to 5 ounces as possible. So getting these weight pockets cut right before you shape your car is ideal. And uh, as we talked about in the last video, you want as much of the weight as possible behind this, this rear axle. The rear axle is closest to the edge of the block. Front axle is a little further away. That's how you know front versus back. And uh, Jim's going to talk about some of the pro tips that we use to cut weight pockets for our cars. Okay. Uh, looking at this block here, it has two of those weight pockets that were actually cut with a router, and we'll talk more about how we did that in just a minute. Um, something to keep in mind when you're cutting weight pockets in a car, around your axle line, whether you drill your own holes or you use the BSA slots, you want to leave a half inch of total wood uh, between your weight pockets. If you, if you encroach any further than that, you will compromise the integrity of the block and the, the car will have issues in regards to, to going straight down the track. Okay, you can cut these weight pockets with a chisel or some other basic hand tools. At Performance Pine, we prefer to cut them with a router. Uh, you can see this is a simple old router. Set it for the depth of a quarter inch. That is a 1 16th bit bought off Amazon. Uh, at the end of the day, the finished product looks like this. It accommodates 12 cubes, 12 of the quarter inch tungsten cubes, which we talked about earlier. This will achieve that 1.8 to 2.0 ounces behind the rear axle when there are 12 of these. The balance would go here. And we fine tune the cars with a little bit of tungsten putty to bring them to that 5 ounce weight. Um, and like I like Todd was saying, you want to come up with your design and cut your weight pockets. Um, this is what we call our three on the tree extreme kit. And you can see that the weight pockets are the first thing that are cut. And we remove as much wood as we can to achieve as much weight in the rear of the car so it accelerates quickly and has a high top speed. Yeah, and we cut extra big weight pockets in there just to take more of that wood out so we can get more tungsten in as well. We want to clear out as much of that wood as possible so we can get the weighting in the right place. We'll talk more about body design in another video, but it is important to keep in mind that uh, less wood and more tungsten will achieve a faster car. That's what we want on race day. That's right. We'll see you then. All right. Thanks.